Alright, so let me show you how to create a coffee cup in Blender 4.0. First, press A, then delete to delete everything, then create a cylinder, then press tab one time to go into edit mode. We can select the icon up here, then we select the face on top, and then we press I one time, insert it. Then we press E and move it down. And to see how close this face is to the bottom, we can go into the side view and select X-ray. And then we can press G and then Z and we can move it down. To create a handle for the cup, we need to add two loop cuts. So press Ctrl R, scroll your mouse wheel one time, then press left click then right click and then when they are selected we can press s to scale and then z to scale them in z axis just so we can move them apart then when they are still selected we press ctrl b to bevel them like this then we press 3 or this icon to select the faces and to select both faces at the same time, you need to hold shift. And then we need to extrude them so we can press E one time and just drag them out. Then we need to change this global to normal. And this will allow us to move these edges on the Z axis. And now we select the faces again, like this, hold shift. And now we press Ctrl E, and then bridge edge loops. And then in this little window here, we can add number of cuts. And now we want to add a subdivision surface modifier. And now in Blender 4.0, this looks a bit different but we want to go to Generate, and then Subdivision Surface. We can also now search for it, so we can search for Subdivision Surface, and apply that. And then when we have the Subdivision Surface modifier, we can turn up the levels in Viewport to 2, and in Render to 3. And what we want to do here is we want to make these edges a bit sharper so we could either add a loop cut like this Control r press left click one time and then you can move it up and the, the closer this line is to the other line here the sharper the edge will be so i will keep this at this height and i will do the same on the inside and also on the inside we can see it deforms in um, a way we don't want to so we can select the faces again and then we press one time down here i will select x-ray mode so you can see it, that this is selected then we just have to press i one time and we can move our mouse out this will create a sharper edge but it's still not as sharp as we want to so we can create another loop cut and drag it down Right now, the edge here is very sharp. And we do the same on the bottom, add a loop cut, and then insert this face too. What we can also do, if we don't like this form, or how it, this is shaped, we can add a loop cut here too, and drag it closer. I will do the same down here like that but still if you go to object mode it's we can still see some lines here but if we right click on the object and then we shade out the smooth they disappear as we can see this edge here is too sharp i don't like that so i will select the edge down here by holding alt and then left click and then i will press shift v 
and then I will drag them down and shift V will make the edges slide along the faces and now when I'm satisfied with the shape and form of the cup I will add a plane I will scale this up I can also scale the cup down a little and to make the cup stand on the plane we can apply this snap tool and also make sure we have the face selected here and for this cup to snap on this plane we need to move it up first on set axis then we can press G Z, and now it stands on the plane and I will add a blue color to the cup but we don't see any color right now so we will go into this viewport shading now we start to see color but it's not looking as realistic as we may want to so we will go even further to this viewport shading and now it's becoming dark because it's it it wants lights in the scene but before we add a light i will change to cycles and i will change my device to gpu and if you don't see a gpu there it's like grayed out go to edit preferences system and then under here select your gpu okay so now when we have these settings we can make this one and this 10 just to make it easier for a computer because in this settings this will only be visible in the viewport and these in the render all right so let's make a light and i want to add a area light and we move this up with g and z but now we can see there is no reflection in the surface so we press on this material icon and then we turn down the roughness and i will have it at something like 0.1 and now we can start to see here it's reflecting some light so now when we have turned down the roughness we can see there's some reflections going on here but it still doesn't look as realistic as i want to so i will add an hdri and you can find them on polyheaven and other sites and it's very easy to download you just go into polyheaven.com and download your hdri now don't download higher than 8k because your computer will most likely crash so i will press ctrl t on this background to get these and and the reason i can press ctrl t and get these for free is because i have node wrangler enabled and that add-on can you find under preferences and add-ons and search for node and you will get node wrangler then you press ctrl t on this you will get this and then you just open find your hdri and the hdri will then pop up in the scene so now when we have the hdri we don't need this light anymore nor we need this plane so i will shift click and press on the plane and then just delete so right now we still see these black spots that's because i forgot to enable denoise but I still want this cup to reflect some more light, so I will go into the material icon again and then turn down the roughness. Alright, so that's a cup in Blender 4.0. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to see more of this, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.